afternoon, ladies. It is 11.15 a.m. on July 27th, I want to say, 2014. It's Thursday, maybe the 28th, but I think it's the 27th. Man, it could really be the 26th. Hmm. Well, it's Thursday. So whatever day Thursday was, just know that I'm not home, so that's why the background looks a little different. Um, but I am officially cycle day one. Yes, if you watch yesterday's video, then you'll see I had a negative pregnancy test on a Ferrer, and I told you guys glow salmon period was going to come today. Um, Ovia, no, fertility friends said my period was going to come Saturday, and Ovia said my period was going to, be, to come on Monday, so glow wins. And they were right. My period arrived today. Uh, so there's been some changes and some things that I've decided that I was just thinking about yesterday and I was talking to my husband and also some other stuff. So I'm going to fill you in on those things now. All right. So here is the change. As of today, as of right now, I am officially on a one-month TTC partial break and I don't intend to actively TTC until August 27th of next month. Now the question is what do you mean by partial? What do you mean break? Oh no girl, no you're not. <laughs> okay so partial is because one I feel like one two TTC you're always TTC and because my period is like clockwork and because I ovulate just about clockwork, I am always going to know when it's supposed to happen. Like, always going to know when it's supposed to happen. I actually think that I'm going to delete my apps today. Oh, well, they're backed up, so it doesn't matter. But delete my apps today so that I'm not, like, you know, looking and focusing. Like, hmm, I'm stuck with this. I'm stuck with that. And just know that August around August 27th is the time. Now, the question is why I've decided to do this and why I've decided that it should be a month and things like that. Okay, so the reason why I've decided to do this is because I think you seen last month I got Fertile CM and I got Fertility. And when I got them, I got them um, after my period had already left, so I only maybe had about five days to be able to actively use it through my Fertile Week, and then I stopped using it during my two-week wait because I wasn't sure if I should take them. Um, but generally, they said that you should take it like 30 days straight, and there were some other things from Fairhaven Health that I wanted to try out as well. And their suggestion is that you take it for 30 days straight. So this will, one, give me the opportunity to take it for a full 30 days. Um, but the main and most significant reason is because me and my husband have made appointments this month. One, I'm making, I made an appointment for the OBGYN. Two, my husband has a regular physical appointment that he's going to. And three, and most importantly, we have uh, an appointment on August 5th with a reproductive endocrinologist, which is an RE, a fertility doctor. Uh, and we have our first consultation there at 9.30. And so, depending on what the OB says, depending on what the RE says, you know, I don't want to be in the middle of a cycle and then maybe have to take a medicine or anything and then just be like completely distraught, like, oh no, well, now I have to take medicine, it's going to mess it up, and I just can't, <laughs> okay? I just cannot. Um, and I've also kind of wavered on temping this cycle because although I don't plan to actively TTC, like that being the goal... Um, I was thinking about going back to temping, but I don't know because my last cycle of temping was absolutely the most stressful ever, so I think I'm probably not going to. I think even when I start in August, I'm not going to. Uh, so, we shall see how this goes. Hopefully, we get some good, good stuff and we find out, you know, like what's happening, what's going on. Because I, um, I had a friend that was telling me, you know, although you might have been actively trying TDC for five months, uh, if you haven't been you protecting yourself the whole entire time, then you've been TTC and not even known that you took kind of TTC or that you've been working towards baby. So pretty much, if that's the case, then we'll say at least a year and three months, a year and four months, uh, but actively like taking OPKs and all the rest of that other stuff the last five months, so. We'll see, but I'm super excited about going to see the RE. I'm definitely interested in finding out and taking tests and doing blood work and seeing what's happening, what's go what's really going on down there. And I mean, that's my suggestion to anybody. 
if it ain't working out, then you probably should go get it checked out. <laughs> and I don't mean like, okay, well, you go one month and then you're like, I don't have a baby. And then I'm just, just going to go in. No, but I, I just don't think you should be trying for eons, especially if you're, especially if you're someone like me who has a period every month and who ovulates like clockwork every month. And no matter what, even if you do it every other day, three days in a row, whatever, it just ain't working out. <laughs> I would suggest that you do that. So, that's my announcement. That's my filling in. Yes, I will be here vlogging, though, the entire month to tell you how my doctor's appointments are going, how my first RE appointment goes, and a consultation, uh, what happens with my husband's doctor, what, um, what happens with the OB, what's happening with the supplements that we're taking. Because my husband normally takes the... One a day for men, the, the Centrum one a day for men. And so this month I think it's gonna start taking the Fertilade, Fertilade for men. Um, and I'm probably gonna do Fertilade for women, so, which you'll see. I see the here nor there. Uh, but I wanted to fill you in. I wanted to let you know that I'm doing perfectly fine. I'm feeling perfectly good. And I'm ready to go to the doctor. That, that's, that, that's the thing I'm most excited about. I'm ready to go to the doctor and speak to someone and find out, you know, what's going good, what, what's not, what their suggestions are. And if everything is perfectly fine, then figure out what they think we should do. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. You get the point. All right, ladies. I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. Don't forget that I am announcing the winner from my giveaway for the month of July on Monday. So be sure to stay tuned. And also, two things that I'm going to do below starting today, and it'll just continue on until forever, uh, for new subscribers. And just for subscribers that are on here that have never seen it, in the description box, because you guys know I have a daily vlog channel that I really haven't been daily vlogging on lately, but that's a whole other story. Um, <laughs> in the description box below, you're going to find a link to a video that shows our one year vow renewal that we did in Costa Maya, Mexico, me and my husband. And then there will also be a link to a video that shows all of the wedding and reception pictures from our wedding when we got married last year on April 7th. So if there's something that you're interested in and in seeing like our wedding pictures and our vow renewal and things like that, they're going to be down, down, down below. Don't forget, as always, you can find me all over the web. I'm on Pinterest, Bun in the Oven 86. I'm on Twitter, Bun in the Oven 86. I'm on Instagram, Bun in the Oven 86. And I have a blog where I write my stories at least once a week, and it probably will be increased to once or twice a week. So you can go there and read all my zhuzh. All right, ladies, till next time. Well, let me not say till next time, so y'all think I come back. Till tomorrow, I'll talk to you guys later.